as far as practice goes, on our days off, we're just going to have to get out there, find an open field, and just get good at controlling them as fast as they'll go. It's not Top Gun, but Maverick and Goose might like it. It's not NASCAR, horse racing, or anything that needs a track on the ground. It's drone racing, and two local police departments will take to the sky in the new year. As far as the agencies that are competing in, it's going to be Moore Police Department, Norman Police Department, five of our pilots versus five of their pilots. Now all the drone pilots are going to have goggles just like this, and when you put them on, this is what the drone sees. And these drones can get up to about 55 miles an hour. The event will be hosted by Major League Drone Racing. There will be time trials with elimination <laughs> rounds and the two top pilots behind the controls will fly into the danger zone here at the Moore High School football field to see who is the ultimate drone ace. You have to serpentine around poles and go through gates and go in certain directions. It's uh, kind of like an obstacle course. It's got a laid out path that you got to go. The event is slated for March 16th and it's a fundraiser where a large portion of the money from ticket sales will go toward the OK Kids Corral, part of the Toby Keith Foundation. Sergeant Dunbar told me he came up with the whole idea. I got a medically complex kiddo so I, I got a a little biased towards that specific thing. So uh, Toby Keith Foundation, OK Kids Corral, they provide free housing to uh, families who have kids with pediatric cancer. And they got to come to the state for treatment. And while it's all for a good cause, and it seems like fun, more police still want their bragging rights. I'm hoping uh, we can make it a yearly thing of just, just beating them here. For info on tickets and event details, and if you're interested in being a sponsor for the event, we'll have links on KOCO.com.